in this video I will be showing you uh, what I've done to replace this flywheel when I ordered this engine or I bought it from a guy uh, he sent me an electric starter but when I started to install the starter I realized that it didn't have the starter ring gear the flywheel with the uh, electric start ring gear on it so uh, Matt at uh, Recreational Power sent this to me via um, Andy at he Heavenbound Aviation so uh, it's not the best looking flywheel I've ever seen but hopefully it'll be okay so I've got to get this this nut off here I'll use my impact to get that off but I was supposed to have also gotten a puller and I didn't get it I have to use four bolts to pull this off so once I get that off I probably end up having to machine a puller or something make my own puller so I'll get back with you as soon as I get this off okay so I made a made my own puller it didn't take me about 20 minutes I've had this piece of plate steel here I matched up my four holes you can see this is what the new one looks like matched up these four holes drilled them actually used the bolts that came out of the shroud uh, just happened to find the bolt this was already threaded threaded it in there hit it with my impact and it's already already loose See the flywheel goes in behind or in underneath that which allows the taper to come all the way out and tighten up. So somehow or another I guess this has to come off. Okay, now you can see that the flywheel has allowed to go all the way up on the PTO shaft or the crankshaft like it's supposed to. And it's hard to see back here. Now you can see there's a, there's a gap in between that metal bracket, that metal piece and the flywheel itself. So let's put it back together. Okay, Got the flywheel reinstalled. The big nut uh, was torqued. I torqued it at 37. That's what Matt at uh, Recreational Power said to torque that one at. Uh, also locked tight those four Allen screws that hold this piece in. It's sort of pressed into this flywheel. So, okay. <laughs> 